on. Little Train Choo Choo Special Trip. Choo Choo, wake up. The little train Choo Choo always had a hard time waking up in the morning. The little train Choo Choo is by no means an early bird. Mr. Bob, let me sleep just a few minutes more. Mr. Bob is a train driver. He has been operating trains since long before Choo Choo was born. Hey kid, the sun is up. But we still have 30 more minutes till departure time. But you've got to wash up and I need to check your engine. We're late, let's go. Fine. The little train Choo Choo hurriedly moved forward. Because whenever he was late, people yelled at him scornfully. <laughs> Sorry I'm a bit late. Choo Choo, I have an important meeting. Now I'm gonna be late. I have a patient waiting for surgery. I may not make it on time. I'm truly sorry. My teacher's gonna yell at me again for being late. Choo Choo, it's all your fault. Sorry. After all the passengers got on, Choo Choo headed to the next station. I wasn't that late. Why are they giving me such a hard time? Choo Choo got upset, thinking that he had nothing to apologize for. He was also getting sick and tired of driving on the same route every day. In the past, trains used to carry coal from coal mines. They drove through tunnels and alongside vast fields to get to big cities. Ah, uh, I wish I could drive alongside vast fields and on tall mountains. Ah. <sighs> One day, Choo Choo woke up very early in the morning, way before Mr. Bob came to wake him up. It was because he was planning to go on a very special trip. Let's go! Choo Choo began driving along unfamiliar tracks that he had never been on before. Woohoo! Choo Choo! He couldn't hide his excitement. After some time had passed, Choo Choo was passing through a vast field. This is so refreshing! Before he knew it, Choo Choo was driving next to a deep blue sea. Wow! It's the sea! Listen to the sound of the waves! It's incredible! Choo Choo kept moving forward without a break, and he suddenly reached a dark tunnel. <sighs> it's so dark in here. What is this place? After passing through the tunnel, Choo Choo came across winding tracks on a mountain. The real tracks were so old and bumpy that he had a hard time moving forward. <sighs> what if I break down in the middle of the way? There were so many trees that he couldn't see what was ahead of him. Ah, I can't see what's in front of me. Ah, Mr. Bob! To his surprise, he reached a dead end. Where am I? Oh no, I can't even go back to the station. Choo Choo was in front of an old coal mine. The mine had closed down years ago, and there wasn't anyone in sight. There weren't even street lamps, so it got very dark at night. Days went by, but no one came to look for Choo Choo. He was all alone. Ugh, I'm so itchy. I can't even move my wheels. Choo Choo missed Mr. Bob who wiped him clean and put lubricant on him every morning. He even missed the passengers, who scolded him from time to time. And just then... Choo-choo! Choo-choo! Ah, Mr. Bob! There you are. I've been looking all over for you. You finally came! <laughs> the little train Choo Choo safely returned to the train depot along with Mr. Bob. 
Mr. Bob washed him clean and even fixed him up. Thank you, Mr. Bob. Next day, Choo Choo went to the station super early to greet the passengers. Choo Choo, where have you been? I missed you. I couldn't go see my patients while you were away. Thank goodness you're back. Ooh, I'm so glad I'm not going to be late today. Thanks, Choo Choo. Good to see you too. Now, hang on. Choo Choo is now happy to be driving along the same route every day and to serve the people who really need him. One special trip was enough for the little train Choo Choo.